there's always something else to do. Always. But it's the last day before spring break and I'm home and I'm not doing anything productive today. And I mean that. Raven? Raven? Can you come from under the cover, please? Come on, Raven. It's the day before spring break. One more day. Then we get off for a week. Good morning. Do you want to wake up now? No. <laughs> oh, baby. You got to get up, girl. <laughs> And then we'll get a week off. You ready? Yeah. You gonna wake up for mama? Oh. Your sister is refusing to wake up. Raven does not want to get up. Send some twin juju her way. Okay, so it looks like now we are actually excited about going to daycare. I'm gonna just go ahead and say these kids did not want to get up this morning and I'm not mad at them because I didn't want to get up either. I really didn't, oh, y'all I'm tired. Jelly. I definitely wish we had early dismissal today, but it's totally fine because the last, I don't know, maybe two hours of the day, it's pretty much all fun for my kids at school, so yeah, I don't mind. I'm gonna miss some anyway. So it's nice to be able to have some downtime with them, especially before they leave me for a week. Because when we come back, then we have state testing. So that's gonna start right after we pretty much, right when we get back, like two days after. So it's nice to be able to have just a little bit of a break before that, because that time can be, um, you know, not, not as fun, definitely. A little bit more of a stressful time of the year as well, so that should be nice. You can go. You know, sometimes you like go through the motions so much and you get so busy with one thing and then something else that you realize man, I haven't folded laundry in days. And with a family this size, we have to do laundry, well, wash and dry at least, like daily, um, pretty much every day because baskets are full and we need to go ahead and wash and dry. And then before you know it, they just, you know, pile up, close it in the basket and don't get folded. A child is calling me right now. There's always something else to do. Always. But it's the last day before spring break and I'm home and I'm not doing anything productive today. And I mean that. I mean it. Amigo party. Amigo party. Okay, go. There you go. And ouch! <laughs> oh, he's kicking me, teacher. Okay, I just get my knife. Come on. <laughs> Is this all the college? Okay, I was gonna see, don't move it. See? Let me open it. See, out of the duck. Two. So, Daddy bought me a shed. And guess who really believes in the shed more than anyone? This guy. <laughs> no, what, Mommy? <laughs> Good nose. Uh, what, what? What, Mommy? Bubbles. What the big Oh, 
one bubble. Come on, Cam. <laughs> yeah, Okay, so I did say that I was gonna try to chill today on this Saturday, but I wanted to show real quick what I'm gonna go ahead and make. The crock pot's doing most of the work and there are very little ingredients that you need. So just, we get almost three pounds of a roast. Um, we like to get chuck roast and then Tony Sasheries, y'all know I'm from Louisiana. I do wishbone when I don't have the powder, just onion powder, some garlic. I ran out of garlic powder, who does that? Then I have brown gravy and I have ranch. I'm gonna then add carrots and celery, and that's it. That's a wrap. The crock pot does the work. I put it on for 10 hours on on low, not warm, I'm sorry, on low, and I just let it go. Super easy, and the crock pot, like I said, does all the work. So after everybody goes to bed, Rob and I are planning a date night at home. So we're gonna watch a show. We have um, this thing about selecting a show that both of us like or could like because sometimes it's something brand new. We just kind of heard it was good. So right now we're watching All American and so far it's so good. I just watched the pilot and I would love to know more about what's going on on this show. So I think it'll be cool. So we'll be watching All American tonight after everybody goes to bed. You ready to bed, Mama? Hey, yeah. baby. <laughs> Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Hey. It's Sunday. What do you want to do this morning? When everyone wakes up, can we go get some donuts? How did I know you would say that? <laughs> we get donuts every Sunday. We get donuts every Sunday. That's right, girl. Cameron, are you on mommy's camera? Yeah. Yeah? I see you. What you want to do today? I don't want to get chicken. You want to get chicken? Yeah. What? You want chicken? It's early in the morning for you to be wanting chicken, Cameron. Huh? Yeah. Chicken? is actually kind of gone <laughs> we had to rig up some lights because I don't have electricity in here just yet but I wanted to take you guys inside of my shed before I ended this vlog today so here we are I am gonna go ahead and end it here for the weekend this really was a laid-back weekend we are all really exhausted at this point in the school year the kids me my husband just the runaround of it all but I did want to end the vlog by thanking you for staying through everything and watching us this weekend but also to show you my shed the lighting is not that great but right now it is unfinished and we haven't put anything in here yet. It took a long time to get it. We actually ordered it in November, but it has been rainy and wet. It's just been disgusting weather in Louisiana, and we are not used to that. Like, I stole Raven's cover because I am still cold. It's still chilly, and this is just new. In April, we're not used to this. It's, it's really rare that it's still cold, but I will be adding you know, sheetrock, I will be adding um, floors and everything because
because this is my shed. So this is my she shed. So this is not the last time you guys will see it. So some of the content that I'm bringing is also gonna be related to the shed. A lot of it will. So step by step, as soon as I start to turn it into the space that I want, I'll definitely update you guys throughout the process. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one, guys.